guys, what's up? My name is Sirius Warrior Love and welcome back to another episode of the Game Maker Tutorial Series for a FNAF fan game. And in this episode, I will be teaching you how to basically make the animatronic go away with your door, your mask, or really anything else. So, let's go ahead and get started. And also, before we start, my voice might sound a little bit different. That's because I have a really bad cough, and I'm kind of losing my voice because of it. So, if I just start coughing randomly in the middle of the video, then you know why. So, sorry for that. But, you know, I couldn't miss this video because I really wanted to make a video for you guys. So, anyways, this video is actually going to be kind of short because I basically have everything completely ready. Um, well, not like I have already done it. I'm going to still walk through it, but you get what I mean. Okay, so in the last episode, we basically did it to where Rick appears at the door, aka Rick the animatronic, right here is the object. Now, we're going to need to work with Rick at door and your defense mechanic. So if your defense mechanic is a mask, then get the mask on, which is this right here. And in this episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of coding, but it will be super easy to understand. I'll just explain everything to you guys, just so you get everything. Okay, so basically, now that we have these two, we're not going to have to really do much with this. We just kind of need it there just in case we forget the name or whatever. I honestly don't know why you would forget the name. But what we're going to have to do is we also have to get the toxic bar. Yeah. Okay, so basically now that we have the toxic bar open, what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to check like how much time it takes until it takes the mask off. So right here, as you can see, it takes 8 seconds. So make sure that uh, for the animatronic to go away, make sure it takes no longer than 8 seconds because then it'd be kind of like weird uh, because like if we made it like 9 seconds for say, then the mask would go right off uh, before we before the animatronic goes away. So yeah, and also I kind of remember what I had to do with Rick. Basically, it's going to be kind of like a little bit more coding, but I'll just show you guys. So basically, with the mask, we're going to be making a timer and you guys already know how to do that because I've showed you many many times so we're gonna set a variable we're gonna call this um let's see we could just call it Rick go away get away get away Rick okay so we're gonna make the value let's make it five seconds so it's gonna take five seconds for him to go away and then we're gonna put the alarm zero with 30 as always and then we're gonna do the alarm zero event and then we're gonna put that in there Rick go away, negative one as always, let's make it relative, and then we put the 30 again, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, oh, uh, wrong thing right there, I have to get the test variable, there you go, uh, Rick go away when it reaches zero, and now this is where the coding is going to come in, so put your start block and your end block, and get this little piece of paper right here, and this just executes a piece of code. Now, I already have the notepad uh, thing right here, so I'm going to just copy and paste it. Now, just in case you don't understand this, I will quickly explain it to you. So, I'm actually going to put enter twice, and I'm just going to put right here, makes Rick go away. Now, it's always good to use comments, honestly, like, it really is, it's super helpful. So, if you haven't really used them, go ahead. Okay, so basically, uh, just type this all down, and I'll tell you what everything does. Okay, so right here it says, if instance exists, character at door, then with the character at door, it makes it destroy itself, so it goes away. And then with the camera, one of the cameras, uh, it changes it into the yes. Alright? So, I'm going to actually go through and do this with you guys. So, basically, what we have to do for the character at door is we're going to have to put the Rick at door. So, we're just going to take that little thing right there, we're going to put Rick at door. Okay, so we got that filled in. And we're going to do the same right here. Okay, so basically what this does right here is that uh, if the timer recognizes that Rick is at the door, then it'll destroy him. So basically he goes away. But then you might be thinking, then how will he go back to the camera? Well, this is what this part right here is for. So basically, uh, right here says, with O starting area camera, no. So basically, we want to get the camera where he started at. Okay, so as you can see, it's camera 1 right there. So basically, what we need to do is we get the cam button 1, no. The no version, as it says right here, no. So basically, we'd get cam button 1 underscore no. Alright, let's see. Let me make sure that I timed that in right, because saying that didn't. 
cam button one underscore no oh yeah i put a capital o make sure to watch out for that because this is very case sensitive okay so basically that's where rick starts so we have to get the no version and change it to the yes version so that we kind of like start to back over so basically right here in the instance change you want to make it the yes version so basically cam button one underscore yes and there we go it's literally as easy as that and if you're using a door it's literally the same thing but with you know the different object which is the door closed <coughs> so yeah this is all as simple you know if it's this exist break that door then with that and also just so you know uh if you want to put a sound so if you have a sound then just press enter put sound underscore play put a parenthesis and then basically just in there type what the sound is and also just so you know uh game maker has like a little thing down there where it tells you what to put in so like sound play and then the index which is you know which type of sound and honestly i'm not gonna do sound until like kind of like the end of the series because that's usually what i do when i make my games i usually add the sound at last so now we got that done now for the rick at door we just gotta do a few things now basically in Finite to Blitz, I kind of didn't really do this, which is something that I kind of hate, because a lot of people were noticing that if you had the mask on, he would still kill you if you weren't quick enough. So what we're going to do is that if you have the mask on, there's no way he can kill you at all. Even if you put it in like one second right before he kills you, then it's not going to kill you. So yeah, we're just going to do that because I know a lot of people got annoyed by that in Finite to Blitz. So basically... It's the same thing. You just make a timer. Now, this will also be used for the jump scare, just in case you wanted to know. So, we're gonna name this, uh, kill player. Alright. And we're gonna make the value, he's gonna kill you at 10. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> um, let's actually make it a bit quicker. Let's do, yeah, let's keep it at 10. Why not? Okay, so then we're going to do the alarm right there. Let's go to the alarm zero. Okay, kill player, negative one, relative. Also, I'm sorry for not posting very much. It's just, like, at the same time, I've been demotivated, but I'm going to be real with you guys. I've been really addicted to Rainbow Six Siege. So, honestly, if you want to play some Rainbow Six Siege with me, hit me up on the Discord, because I'll be happy to play. Because, honestly, it's, like, one of my favorite games right now. So, yeah. We have the kill player stuff ready, and we're going to put the start and end of a block. So, inside of the code is where uh, the jump scare is going to take place. So, yeah. Okay, so right here we're going to put something like, uh, the tux mask. That's a good thing. Yeah. Alright, so basically, it could be something like, uh, if instance underscore exists, and then we get the, can the mask, I mean. Uh, so it's the mask on. Oh, mask on so if that exists it will begin to do stuff like basically what we wanted to do is that if the if it exists then it won't like really do anything but then if it doesn't then it'll kill you let's see couldn't i just do that oh yeah i actually could and then you just put else and then you open it back up uh and then you do something like uh instance Underscore destroy destroy and then just put two parentheses right there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put that parentheses right there just so that it's closed. All right, so basically basically what's happening right here is that if it just exists, oh mask on, it does nothing else, then it'll destroy itself and then it'll probably like do some like instance create. I think it's create. Yeah, it's create. Got it right. Uh oh, jump scare. There we go. So basically that's the code. Now I know it says it cannot function, but that's because, you know, uh, the object doesn't actually exist. So we're just going to put two slashes there and keep it like that for now. And then when we actually have it ready, then I'll put it down. Okay, so now why don't we just try it out? So I'm going to press play and let's see how it goes. Okay, so now that the game was loaded up, we're just going to wait a little bit for the splash screen to go away. We're going to just put new game. I think we can skip it. Yeah, I remember that. All right, so yeah, we're just playing the game. All right. Check camera one. Oh no, he's there. Okay, we're gonna check camera two. Okay, he's not there. I must. I honestly really like how this looks. Like I, I seriously like really do. <laughs> woo woo, right there. Oh okay, he's at camera two. Oh, he's on. 
on the ground. Oh, okay, he's gone. All right, he's at the door. Mask. All right, let's wait a little bit. One, two, three, four. Hey, look, he went away. Awesome. So yeah, that actually freaking works. And remember that the light does, uh, you know, stop working. So yeah, that's basically how it works. And then he just goes back. We wait a little bit, and he goes to camera too. How cool is that? So right now we just wait a little bit. Comes back in a second. Now, honest, obviously he's not gonna like jump scare me or anything because I haven't gotten the jump scare in yet. So yeah, look, mask on. We're gonna see him go away. And then boop, he goes right away. And then if the toxic goes all the way up, then you know that happens, or you can make it to where you get killed. But yeah, as you can see, this was actually a pretty short episode. I'm sorry if you also want to know. Uh, the jump scare and things like that. I just kind of wasn't too prepared. I kind of like when I was about to record I was like wait uh, Gosh dang it. I forgot to make the jump scare and it, it bummed me out a little But I decided to still make it for you guys because you know some of you guys really want this episode and well I delivered So yeah, that was it for this episode of the game maker tutorial series If you really enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash a like and also subscribe to join the warriors to expand our empire and Yeah Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Discord is in the description, and so is my Instagram in case you want to follow me there. Bye!